how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and as of I was saying yesterday, I'm still a little sick, so I'm sorry, really sorry. Hopefully tomorrow's video will be fine, but Fridays might be bad because I gotta shoot them differently. Uh, anyways, how is everybody today? Today we are going to be talking about Grogu and the impact that he's left on the Star Wars community. Uh, it's been officially like a little over three years since he was introduced. Literally, I think, a, excuse me, sorry, still sick. A year and um, a week since he was introduced, uh, along with the Mandalorian and everything like that. So, why not talk about this little green child that changed everything? So, as you all know, Disney bought out Star Wars in 2012, and in 2015, they started making a new trilogy, along with a spin-off spin movies, and the plans for a TV series. Nobody knew about, like, what the TV series was going to be, um, up until, like, a year before where it was announced as The Mandalorian. Going into this, people believed that it was going to be a gritty underworld story about bounty hunters and, like getting bounties, finding maybe famous Star Wars characters along the way, and for the main part of the first episode, that's what it was, until the last two minutes. When that happened, <clears throat> the egg opened up, and we saw this little guy, and everything changed since then. What I find is really cool about this was that it was so secret, there was no Baby Yoda, or Grogu, well, it was called Baby Yoda at the time, but there's no Baby Yoda toys anywhere or anything because it was so top secret that they just would, didn't even let Hasbro or Lego or anything that they had licensing rights with know about it. No legal Grogu shirts, no anything. And this took the world by storm. Talk about Pokemon Go coming out. Talk about Baby Groot, which I always consider not like an actual relative, like canonically, but they're relative to each other in real life. You think Baby Groot and Baby Yoda, they're both by uh, Disney, and they're both kind of marketed towards the same audience. <coughs> and they both had the same effects. Uh, so, yeah. Basically, this is what got people into Star Wars that were on the fence. This is what got a lot of people captivated. I mean, this was the biggest thing to happen to Star Wars since Star Wars. Since uh, this is like the fourth resurgence. Uh, being, of course, when it came out. When 77 Star Wars came out. 1999 when... Uh, Phantom Menace came out, and 19, or 2005 when uh, Revenge of the Sith came out and everything was ending, and 2015 when Force Awakens came out. This was the biggest out of all of them, next to maybe Phantom Menace coming out. Um, because even if you've never seen Star Wars in your entire life, you would know who Grogu slash Baby Yoda is. Um, in this we get to see 16 episodes of adventures with him and the Mandalorian Din Djarin. Uh, and it, the series season 2 finale ended with us saying goodbye to Grogu. And a lot of people believe that that was it. I did. Um, and like the sad part was, if that was it, we know where it was headed. With, uh... Luke taking him uh, because well, the Jedi died thanks to Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren so we all thought that that was it but luckily Book of Boba Fett changed that for us we got a episode specifically for Din Djarin and then an episode specifically for Grogu then the finale where they meet up again and we are set up for season three of The Mandalorian. 
Uh, also with that, we got a new short that was the original idea for this video that we are going to talk about called Zen, Grogu, and Dust Bunnies, which was a Studio Ghibli short, um, which really there's nothing to talk about for it because it is literally just a short with no lines, just music, and Grogu befriending Dust Bunnies. Um, but we will talk a little bit more about Grogu Mania. There was plushies, figurines, everything of this uh, little green guy. And it was almost impossible to get your hands on because everybody and their mother wanted something Baby Yoda. Um, and I keep using that term because we're thinking as the wide audience here, not just the Star Wars fans that know everything about Grogu and everything like that. But um, it truly was a game changer. Something that I found was funny was the week that the Rise of Skywalker came out, there was an episode of The Mandalorian the day before where Grogu force heals somebody. Um, and when that happened, two days later, Rise of Skywalker, <laughs> Ray force heals somebody. I feel that they did that to do it with a loved character before they do it with a controversial character so that way people will not like hate on force healing even though they still did but not as much because Grogu did it. But yeah, so, I mean, that is basically the video today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Follow me on all my social media down below. It's that nerd Ryan telling you, have an amazing day.